Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth video about key clock client adapters. In this video, I am going to show you how to secure a web application which is running on your Tomcat servlet container using key clock identity and access management system. In order to do this, I am using the Tomcat OpenID Connect client adapter provided by key clock. These are the steps that I will be following for integrating the Tomcat client adapter. First, I will configure the client in Keyclock admin console. After that, I am going to download the Tomcat server and Keyclock client adapter. As the last step, I will be doing the configurations in Tomcat server. We need to create context.xml file in the Tomcat web application. After that, we need to copy the Keyclock.json file. Also, we need to change the web.xml file of the particular web application. For this video, I am referring to these pages in Keyclock documentation. I have added these links in the description area. So, as the first step, I will be showing you the configurations in admin console. You can see, now I am in the realm called hexadefense. I am going to clients page to create a new client. Here I am going to create a new client named Tomcat client. Save the client. I change the access type as confidential. I set the redirect URL as HTTP localhost 8081 docs. This URL belongs to the web application that we are going to secure and I set the same value as the admin URL as well. Admin URL is used by Keyclock server to send logout request to the Tomcat application. Admin URL is supported by Keyclock client adapters by default. Now I am going to save the client. Once client is saved, I am visiting to the installation tab. I select the key clock OIDC JSON from the select menu. Here you can see the metadata of this client. I am going to download this configuration by clicking download. It downloads a file name keyclock.json which contain this metadata. I need this for Tomcat server configuration in a short while. Now I am going to roles tab and create a role named admin. Add role. Save the role. We call these roles as client roles as they reside inside clients. Now I need to assign this role to a user. I am going to users page. Click view all users. Already there is a created user named Hexa. I am going to assign this role to this user. I am going to role mappings. Select the newly created client. Its name is Tomcat client. Newly created role is available here. I am going to assign it to this user. Okay, now the role is assigned. Now in the admin console, client related changes are complete. Now I am going to download the Tomcat client and client adapter. I have already downloaded a Tomcat server. Tomcat version is Apache Tomcat 9043 and I am using Java 8 for this. When you downloaded a Tomcat server, there are few web applications already available in the web app folder. Let me show them. These are the already available web applications such as docs, examples, host manager, manager and root. For this example, I am going to secure the docs web application using Keyclock. As the first step, I am going to download Keyclock OpenID Connect client adapter from Keyclock website. Now I am in the download page of 
keyclock.org website. I have put this link in the description area. I am going to the client adapters section. Here you can see the client adapters section. Here I select the Tomcat adapter for Tomcat version 9. I download the gzipped file. I save it. Now I am in the download folder of the Keyclock OpenID Connect Tomcat adapter. Now I am going to extract this gzipped file. Okay. Now here you can see there are a set of jar files. We need to copy these jar files into the lib folder of our Tomcat server. Now I am going to copy them. Okay, copying is done. In order to do the rest of the task, I refer to the documentation provided by Keyclock. First thing is, I need to add a context.xml file to the meta-inf folder with the following content. You can see it in the browser. I copy this code component. I move to the docs web applications. Since I am going to secure that, here I create the context.xml file in meta in a folder. I put the path as docs. I am going to save this. If your application does not have a meta in a folder, you can create it and create the context.xml file inside that folder. As the next step, I need to copy the keyclock.json file to the web in a folder. First, I move into the web in a folder and I copy the keyclock.json file. I downloaded it when I was configuring the client. Keyclock JSON file was copied successfully. As the final step, I am going to change the webxml file. Again, I move to the documentation. We need to provide the module name, which should be the name of the client we configured in admin console. We named it as Tomcat client. Also, we need to define the security constraint as well. I am copying this code component and paste it. I do some renaming. Web resource names as docs. Here I set the role name as admin. I am removing this component. Role name is declared as admin. Now I am going to save this configuration. There is a single change I need to do here. It is change in the running port of this Tomcat application. I go to the home directory of Tomcat server. I am going to edit the server.xml file. Here I have set the port as 8081. Now I am going to run this application. Type the path of the web application. Once URL is entered, browser redirected to Keyclock login page. Here I am providing the credentials.
earlier I mentioned you about this hexa user. This user has the admin role we created earlier. Otherwise, this user cannot access this web application. Now I click login. I could successfully go inside the docs of Tomcat server. Now I am going to log out in a separate tab. I have included this URL in the description area. This is used to single logout. And now I refresh this tab. So again it asks for my credentials because that single logout happened successfully. This is what I wanted to show you in this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment area. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.